Governments around the world are responsible for looking after their citizens, and to do this, they're the owners of the largest fleets of vehicles, with machines specifically designed for certain purposes or multi-use ones for rescue and law enforcement. It's incredible to see what our hard-earned tax dollars are invested in to keep our countries operational. Here are the top 15 epic government vehicles. Number 15, Armored Rescue Vehicle. Law enforcement agencies around the world can never be sure how serious threats they'll face day to day will be. So while the first responders usually drive regular cars, they have heavy duty options available if the situation requires. One of the most serious pieces of equipment in their arsenal is an armored rescue vehicle. And one of the best models available is the Lenko Bearcat. This is what you'll often see SWAT teams in the US using, as well as emergency responders in other countries too. And once you hear its stats, you begin to understand why it's considered to be such a game changer. Developed by Massachusetts-based Lenco Industries, the almost 9-ton vehicle is 20 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 12 feet tall. It's fitted with a 6.7 power stroke turbo diesel engine that produces 440 horsepower. And this gives the vehicle a top speed of 90 miles an hour. It requires two crew to operate and has space in the back for 10 passengers and has a rotating roof hatch that can be fitted with mounted weapons along with a series of side gun ports. It's heavily armored with between a half and one and a half inch thick steel plating around it. And this means the Bearcat is resistant to light arms fire, explosives and threats from IEDs. If you're a bad guy and they send one of these to control the situation, your best bet surely is to surrender before they use it to its full capability. Number 14. MH-65 Helicopter Every country with a coastline has to provide support and rescue services to any ships that may encounter difficulties in their waters, and this is usually a role that's provided by a dedicated Coast Guard. Depending on the country, they're either regarded as an emergency service or a branch of the military, and they tend to have both rescue and border control responsibilities. Of course, the main vehicles at their disposal are boats, and they have fast-responding ones as well as slower but more powerful versions. Every Coast Guard has an aerial component too, though. And in the US, this is done with the use of MH-65 helicopters. They are one of the most durable and adaptable choppers available. And the US Coast Guard alone has 101 of them since they first entered service in the 1980s. Designated as a short-range recovery chopper, they can take off from land or from ship platforms and can endure such extreme weather conditions that they're even able to operate on the periphery of hurricanes. By using the latest technology that's been developed by Airbus, the MH-65 is surprisingly quiet, which allows crews to listen out for clues during their mission. And the helicopter is also incredibly efficient, stable, and highly maneuverable. Based at 18 Coast Guard centers around the U.S., MH-65s have been crucial to rescue missions during some of the most challenging events, such as Hurricane Katrina, Rita, Harvey, and Maria. With the ability to fly to high altitudes, too, there's hardly anywhere these vehicles aren't able to reach. Number 13, The Beast. The US president is the most powerful person in the world, but with the fame and high profile nature of the job, a huge security operation is needed to ensure the person in the role is kept safe. This, of course, includes the almost 7,000 Secret Service personnel who monitor and plan every movement of the president. And while they're traveling short distances, the main mode of travel is a vehicle known as The Beast. The current one in use was built by Cadillac entered service in 2018, and it's the most secure vehicle in the world. Visually looking like a Cadillac sedan, that's where the similarities with the consumer version end. It weighs more than 20,000 pounds and has a capacity inside for seven passengers, along with two Secret Service agents. And while a number of its features are classified, several security enhancements have been made public. The entire interior cabin is hermetically sealed to protect against a chemical warfare attack. It also has run-flat tires, night vision cameras, and defensive capabilities you'd expect to see on the Batmobile, which includes oil slicks and smoke screens. The shell of the car is made from aluminum, ceramic, and steel, with 8-inch thick walls, and this ensures it's resistant to arms fire and explosive threats. Even the doors have been specifically designed to increase the protection of the passengers inside. Each one is said to weigh the same as those on a Boeing 757 jet and the handles can be electrified to prevent the aggressors from breaking in. Number 12, Dubai Ambulance. Depending on where you live in the world, the local medical care is either operated by private companies or by the government. In Dubai, the latter is true, and keeping in tradition with the Emirates' obsession with building the biggest and best structures in the world, it's also home to the world's biggest ambulance. They actually have three of them, 
each of which was built by Mercedes-Benz, and are essentially converted buses. A person's chance of survival after an incident relies upon the speed at which the first responders arrive, the medical technology that's on hand to begin with. So these ambulances provide virtually everything medics need to treat their patients. In Dubai in particular, the levels of traffic can often prevent ambulances from getting to hospitals as quickly as they would want. So those mega ambulances take the features of a hospital directly to those who need treatment. On board, there's the world's smallest x-ray machine, an ultrasound machine, and an intensive care unit, and even a fully functional operating theater. There's also an incubator, an ECG machine, and 12,000 liters of oxygen, which is enough supply for continuous operation for up to three days. When you normally think of an ambulance, you'd imagine a vehicle that's run by two people and can take care of one patient in the back. But the four-member crew of this mega ambulance are able to take care of up to 20 patients at once. Number 11, Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Police forces are usually the first responders to major incidents and they're responsible for keeping their community safe. This often means they have to be on the scene of developing emergency as quickly as possible. And to do this safely and effectively, they need to rely on multi-purpose vehicles that can adapt to rapidly changing scenarios. Ford has been providing cars to cops for more than 70 years. And the current top-of-the-line model is a seriously impressive machine. Known as the Ford Police Interceptor Utility, it looks like a Ford Explorer with a police livery on it. But this is no ordinary road car. It's the fastest police car in the U.S. with the ability to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in less than 6 seconds and reach a top speed of 150 miles per hour soon after that. While there are other models forces can choose from, the Ford Police Interceptor Utility has become so popular that it accounts for more than half of all purchases across the U.S. But it's not just the speed that counts. This is an extremely durable car with steel wheels and a tough outer shell, and the interior has been redesigned to allow the installation of law enforcement equipment, like radios, light bars, encrypted information displays, and anything else an officer needs to carry out their duties. Number 10, the North Korean Armored Train. North Korea is the most isolated country in the world, thanks to the way the government operates and sees the outside of the world as a threat. Amid political posturing, there's still the need for the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, to travel around the country and visit other world leaders. And instead of doing these trips by planes, he instead uses his own personal armored train. He's used it to travel to Russia, China, and elsewhere, and it's believed to be not only one of the most luxurious places in the whole of North Korea, but also one of the most advanced trains in the world. Very little is actually known about it, but whenever the 21-carriage green train is steaming along the tracks, it's clear that Kim Jong-un is on the move. According to reports, the interior is covered with leather and has so many Apple computers, you'd be forgiven for thinking you were inside an Apple store on wheels. Food and drink is also held in plentiful supply, including wine and cheeses imported from France. The carriages are, of course, steel-plated to protect against attacks, and his personal bodyguards always travel in large numbers on the train with him. It's also believed there's a second replica train that's used too, so you can never be exactly sure which one Kim Jong-un is on board. Number 9. Electric Garbage Truck With the amount of trash that each household produces every year, garbage trucks are a vital service that takes away our waste to be disposed of. There are countless different designs that are used around the world, but in a modern age when we're trying to recycle more and be kinder to the environment, the newest models are electrically powered. The Swiss city of Basel has recently announced a new policy that means all of their garbage trucks have to use green energy, and the first of these new ones, which were deployed by a company called DesignWorks, entered operation in late 2020. Weighing 26 tons and based on designs from Volvo, they have a power output of about 500 kilowatts and have two 170 kilowatt hour batteries on board. It's estimated that they consume around 190 kilowatt hours per 60 miles. But when the job is to go from home to home, this is more than efficient enough. As well as being designed for household trash removal, some of the trucks are fitted with cranes to allow them to empty underfloor containers. Eventually, they'll have 20 of these vehicles, which will be charged overnight at six hubs, which will allow the city to ensure only renewable energy is used. As other trucks in their fleet reach the end of their operating lives, the plan is to replace these with similar e-trucks too. So it's hoped that within 20 years, there won't be any gas guzzlers left. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Overacid TV2200 
communities around the world rely on road networks for transport. And while the surfaces of the vehicles that use them are generally reliable during most weather conditions, snow can prove to be a real obstacle. Preventative measures such as spreading grit can reduce the dangers and inconvenience, but particularly in countries where snow is common, there's often no avoiding the need for specialized snowplow to clear the way. These vehicles are also crucial to keeping airports in operation, and by far the most impressive model is the Overassen TV2200. It's designed to clear runways and major highways, and does this astonishingly fast. It's 40 feet long, 11 feet wide, and almost 15 feet tall, and it's fitted with two engines that, combined, have a power output of more than 2,200 horsepower. With a weight of 44 tons and a top speed of 34 miles an hour, this huge vehicle can push through even the thickest and most dense snow drifts. It's able to clear more than 12,000 tons of snow per hour and has an almost 120-foot wide casting distance, which means it can clear most runways or roads in just one pass. There's nothing quite as effective at the job as one of these, but at a cost of several million dollars, only regions that see regular snowfall can justify the cost. Number seven, the Flying Doctors. Australia is a huge country, especially in comparison to its population. But with so much of the center being in hospitable land, the majority of communities are spread out across the coastline. This doesn't mean that the outback is uninhabited, though. But the small towns and farms don't have the funds to build large hospitals like in cities, and any form of medical care can be hard to find. The solution to this is the Royal Flying Doctor Service of Australia, which owns a fleet of aircraft that allow medical personnel to provide services to those who live in the most remote rural regions. It's the most comprehensive aeromedical organization in the world and provides a lifeline to people in need. They operate six different models of aircraft, but the most common one is the Pilatus PC-12. After first entering service in the early 1990s, the Flying Doctors now have 31 of them, and they proved to be incredibly reliable, which is one of the reasons why this is the best-selling pressurized single-engine turbo-powered aircraft ever. When used as a medical jet, the PC-12 has three crew, including the pilots, space in a cabin for five patients, including two on stretchers. With a cruising speed of 328 miles an hour and a range of 2,100 miles, they are strategically positioned around the country to ensure that no matter where you are, one is able to reach you within several hours and provide most of the medical attention anyone might need. Of course, sometimes an emergency can't be dealt with on site, and each of the Flying Doctor's planes is linked with a hospital that has a nearby runway to ensure patients can be admitted as soon as the plane lands. Number six, the Iron Monster. As the country with the biggest population in the world, China is constantly on a massive program of infrastructure building to improve trade networks and connect the population centers together. But with so many roads, railways, and bridges that need to be built across what's often hilly and mountainous terrain, they've developed specialized vehicles that make the job a whole lot easier and quicker. The most impressive of these is referred to as the SLJ 932, or by its nickname, the Iron Monster. It's a bridge-building vehicle for high-speed railways, and it's able to carry the materials for construction, place sections of track, and connect the stone pillars of a bridge together with stone blocks. The vehicle itself is 300 feet long and has 64 wheels. It works by traveling to the front part of the track that's already been laid onto the supports of the bridge and placing the next piece in position. It then travels back to pick up the next piece and repeats the process. Weighing a whopping 650 tons, it's far heavier than any train that'll pass along the tracks, so the bridges it builds are much stronger than they need to be for ordinary rail use, and can travel up to three miles an hour when carrying railway segments. Due to the loads involved and the remote areas where it's used, the Iron Monster allows rail bridges to be built in a fraction of the time that would be possible otherwise instrumental in helping to connect isolated places like Inner Mongolia with the rest of China. Number five, the Royal Train. In the UK, while they don't have any involvement in making the decisions on how to run the government, the Royal Family is still relied upon to conduct visits around the country. It's often not cost efficient or comfortable to do all of these journeys by air, so they have a Royal Train that provides them with all the comforts they're accustomed to while on the move. The current carriages are around 40 years old, but despite their age, they're still one of the most luxurious ways to travel by rail in the world. Complete with sleeper, lounge, and dining cars, the senior members of the family, such as the Queen and Prince Charles, have their own carriages that are decorated exactly how they want, even to the extent to which they have custom-designed toilet seats, so they're comfortable even when they're sat on the throne. 
It also has carriages for security details and conference facilities so high-profile meetings can be conducted on board. Surprisingly, despite once being incredibly expensive to run, it's now quite economical to run, with the yearly costs thought to be in the region of one and a half to two million dollars. It's important to note that it's not used very often though, so this translates to a cost of around two to four hundred thousand dollars per few day trip. Number four, American Eurocopter Police Chopper. When cars or vans aren't fast or adaptive enough to respond to a developing situation, police forces have another vehicle they can turn to, a helicopter. They are particularly useful for monitoring high-speed chases, where the fear is a pursuing car might increase the risk to civilian lives, and also to provide a presence on scene at a remote or difficult place to reach. Different police forces use different types of helicopters, but for the LAPD, which has the largest air support division in the world, the most common chopper you'll see is the American Eurocopter AS350 B2 A-Star. Built by Airbus, the first model of this type of helicopter was revealed in 1975, but a number of improvements have been made since then. Current versions can be flown by one pilot with up to five further people on board, and is able to reach speeds of up to 178 miles an hour. With a range of 411 miles, they're able to quickly respond to any emergency that requires their assistance and are fitted with a range of cameras and monitoring devices that help police understand the threat and deal with it appropriately from the ground. Number three, the world's biggest fire truck. One of the most important vehicles that are owned and operated by governments around the world are fire trucks. They're able to respond quickly to infernos, to bring the flames under control, and are vital to help protect property and prevent fires from spreading to the surrounding areas and causing even more damage. In January of 2020, NAFCO, a company from the United Arab Emirates, revealed their latest design, which is now the largest model of fire truck available anywhere in the world. Known as the Falcon 8x8, it's specifically designed to combat fires that occur at airports, which often develop faster and become far more dangerous than those elsewhere. The Falcon has two powerful engines that produce 1,400 horsepower, and allows the more than 60-ton vehicle to accelerate to a speed of 50 miles an hour in less than 25 seconds. It's not just speed that's been prioritized, though, because the Falcon has every piece of equipment the crew could ever need to use, including more than 18,000 liters of water. PCP ammonium phosphate-based extinguishers, ladders, tools to break through steel, and plenty more. The body of the vehicle was made from fiberglass, which makes it lightweight for its size, while still protecting the crew, even when they've parked close up to a fire. Number two, Air Force One. When the President of the United States is traveling further than a motorcade is practical for, they'll either use a military helicopter that's called Marine One, or for longer journeys, will use a converted Boeing 747 that's known as Air Force One. It's quite simply the most heavily defended and technologically advanced aircraft in the world, and it's safer on board the jet than most high-security land-based facilities. There are actually two of them, one that acts as a backup or diversion if needed, and both have been recently refitted to keep them up to date. They cost more than $210,000 per hour of operation, but the entire country can be run from Air Force One if required. With a range of 7,800 miles, but even more because the plane has been adapted for air-to-air -air refueling, Air Force One has a cruising speed of 580 miles per hour. The front cabin is called the White House because it's here that the President stays when on board. It features private quarters, conference rooms, and advanced communications room, as well as a fully operational medical suite, which includes an operating table. Security and some members of the press corps also have designated cabins on board. And not only is it probably the most epic government vehicle in the world, but it's also a recognizable beacon for the United States whenever it's seen flying abroad. Don't try this yourself. Number one, Dubai police cars. Police forces around the world have a variety of different vehicles at their disposal. But in Dubai, they've had to take a different approach that has led to them having by far the most impressive fleet of any country. The city has one of the highest proportions of supercar ownership on Earth. And this means that standard police vehicles just aren't adequate to chase down offenders. Through a combination of special orders with manufacturers and repurposing confiscating cars, the Dubai Police Force has a garage of high-powered vehicles that any supercar collector would be envious of. Included in their ranks is an Aston Martin 177, a Lycan Hypersport, and a Ferrari FF, plus a Bugatti Veyron, as well as a number of Mercedes-Benzes, Porsches, Lamborghinis, and even a Hover Surf Scorpion 3 hover bike. With all of these at their disposal, there's no vehicle that's fast enough to evade the officers. It means that a high-speed chase in the city looks just like it's come out of a video game.
Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.